everyone, I am Becky and welcome to Girl Talk World. Today I am joined by the wonderful Vic Hope and Ricky Wilson. How are you both doing? How are you, Vic? Uh, oh, hello. <laughs> um, yeah, really well, thank you. How are you? Yeah, good, thank you. Um, so today we are here to talk about your new CBBC show, Britain's Best Young Artist, and then we are going to put your art skills to the test. But to start, what can you tell us about the show? Well, the show does uh, what it says in the title. We're trying to find Britain's best young artist. It's a TV competition about people that are pretty good at something. <laughs> uh, and uh, that's why it's, why, it's, why it's exciting. We've created a little community of artists and they all come together. They make each other better. They make us jealous and we have a good time. Love it. And for any budding artists watching, what are you looking out for in the show and what tips do you have? You know what, we're looking out for obviously talent but more than that it's their creativity it's their ability to express themselves it's their ability to take a brief and take it wherever their mind goes so in the show we have inspiration day so for every final masterpiece we get inspiration and that might come from taking them abseiling or taking them on a rib ride boat trip or taking them on a four by four um adventure so there's all sorts of different ways that we can get inspiration from the world around us and it's so interesting to see the way all of our young artists take that inspiration and create a final masterpiece out of it and um, so we're just looking for yeah creativity and exciting yeah. use of, of all the materials exactly because technique will take you so far and that's really important but creativity is key and uh, it's bringing out the confidence in them as well which is uh, what it's all about fantastic more scared of you than you are of it. Yeah, <laughs> we're looking for artists who think outside the box. Oh, yeah. excellent. Okay, so as I mentioned today, we are going to have a bit of fun with a doodle challenge. So we are testing not just your skills, but your creativity <laughs> and imagination. So before uh, can, ask, I just say that, can I just mm -hmm. say that, although technically uh, I'm a superior artist out of the <laughs> uh, Vic has a far weirder mind than mine. Okay. I was going to say, how do you each rate your art skills? Because well, I'm going to be asking you to judge each other's doodles as well. Ricky's really good at art. He's like a proper, proper artist mm -hmm. and he can draw anything. And he, he, honestly, I'm always so impressed, especially we, we do this thing at the beginning of each episode called speed art, which is basically like a warm up. Like you do for sport when you, you do your stretches and you warm up. It's yeah. that for art. So we, we give them 15 seconds, throw a word out there, an object, and they just have to draw it in 15 seconds. So you can't be too perfectionist. You can't be too meticulous. You can't hesitate. You just got to get it on the page. And I'm always so impressed in what you can do in 15 seconds. It always looks like the thing. I have a team, of, a crap team of people behind the scenes doing it for me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on the editing, on the editing. Okay, so um, you've both got your Sharpies and your paper, right? I have some paper. Perfect. So I'm going to give you like an image, a source of inspiration, and I want to see what you come up with. And then I want you to rate each other's work. Okay, so first up, I would love for you each to draw a crab at a birthday party. A crab at a birthday party? Mm hmm Okay, right. What colour are crabs there? What though? They're so annoying to be around at birthday parties. They're just constantly crab. talking, giving it all of this. <laughs> Love it. I was going to um, say, do either of you have like any one thing that you're really, really good at drawing or kind of your doodle that you can do? Like everyone could do that S thing in school or like... If, like if someone ever asks me to draw them a picture, I always end up drawing a one-eyed cat. A one-eyed cat? Yeah. Oh, I don't really know why. Any reason it's got one eye? Uh, I think I just made a mistake once and thought I quite like that. <laughs> Well, I've got to make it a thing now. I've got to stick with it. Yeah. Um, how many legs do crabs have? Legs. have? Do crabs have legs? Yeah. No. What do you think they've got? Wings? <laughs> I don't remember the crabs having legs. Yeah, they do. Well, what do you eat? Well, you, you've had crab, haven't you? You've got the big, big old pincers at the front and then get a few legs behind. Oh, the crab looks like a squid. <laughs> oh, is it a birthday party? Yeah, it's his birth. Well, it's he's yeah he's at a birthday party. It can be his. It can be someone else's. At a birthday party. All right. Then. Explain. He's at a birthday party. He's probably got one of these. Got a party hat on. Have you given him a party hat? Of course. Oh right. Okay. Well, I might nick that idea. And I'm going to give him a streamer in his mouth as well. Oh, I've done that now. You think I've copied you? Okay. 
Vic, how's it looking? Oh, I'll just, I'll finish now. Okay. I'm going to put a banner around at the back saying happy birthday. Oh, have you done a banner? Oh, right, this will have to do. I, I don't, I forgot what crabs look like. I think mine looks a little <laughs> bit like a jellyfish. Okay, let's see. It looks like you're smoking a cigar. Oh. Oh, they look great. Okay, I want you to very similar. judge each other's. Well, let's have a look, Vic. Let's get real close. The party hat is quite Christmassy, but I'll let that slide. Uh, the, you've got the same thing as me there. We've done that. I think you might have one set of legs too many. Yeah, I've definitely got too many legs. Yeah, but no, I, I, think, they have. I think I think they're pretty good. But like, I think um, our minds must be uh, what's in, in, in simpatico because they're very similar. Although I went for yeah. a cowboy hat because I thought you'd go for a pointy hat, so I put a little cowboy hat on them. It's amazing. I love the fact that its eyes are on sticks. Yeah, I don't think they actually are, but I thought that, it, you know, I, I don't know what their eyes are like. Is that from SpongeBob, where they have the, the eyes no. on, the, on sticks? Yeah, I'm, I'm quite pleased with that. Okay, so next up, your challenge is, I would like you to draw each other. Each other? Mm-hmm. I'm so bad at drawing Ricky. You know. See, I'll be impressed if these ones end up looking as similar as your last one. Draft. Oh, you make a mistake? Yeah. You look like Brian McFadden. <laughs> it has been said before. <laughs> He's got so much hair. And I've got so little hair. Not that it's going. Oh, I thought yours was going well, Vic. I thought that was a, I've done pretty well with myself. Look there, but it wasn't. Oh, I don't know what he looks like. I mean, right here. <laughs> um, is it just drawing each other or is, this an, is there a scenario? I mean, if you want there to be a scenario, there can definitely be a scenario. No, I think it's hard enough doing it with just, just a picture of Vic. <laughs> it's just black and white, Vic, sorry. No, yours is pink. Uh, well, I, it has been said as well, as is Brian McFadden. <laughs> I think this looks a bit like you. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. Right, are you ready? Okay, yeah. let's go. One, two, three. They're not bad, you know. That was pretty good, Vic. He's I look like Cruella Deville. No, I see you. I like that. It's all right. Oh, I, like, no, I think you could pick me out of a lineup. Yeah, I think it looks like you. If you said what, 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 you know, guy from a band is that? I think you'd probably say me. It could be Chris Martin. Hmm. And he looks like a little bit of Tintin. It's got it's a bit of Ronan. It's got about. a bit of Ronan about it as well. Next up, I would like you to think of something that sums up a Monday. Or something that feels like a Monday. A Monday? Mm, that Monday feeling. Ooh. Well, I don't know. I know. Oh, Vic! <laughs> See, this is it. <laughs> this is where the mind comes in. Technique can take you so far. You need creativity. Right, what do you do on a Monday? Um... Uh, oh, okay. Monday. What are you doing, Richard? Uh, well, it's not very... It's, it's, I, I, I like the idea, but the execution of it isn't going very well. I think I've done it wrong. I don't think you can do it wrong. Okay. There's no wrong. That's art, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Exactly. I'm going to add a little bit of colour, mm. just because I can. How are we getting on? Nearly there. Nearly there. Monday. Ooh. Mm hmm Right, I'm done. Okay. How's it how's it going, Vic? Just colouring. And I can see we're getting a lot of colour in this one. I'm I'm intrigued. Okay. Okay. All right, Vic. Ready? Let's have a look. Wow, sunflower. That's really positive. That is. Yes, 
I brought I brought these sunflowers on Monday morning to make me happy for the week. Oh, I like any yellow flower is my favourite flower. Mm. Mine's a bit depressing. Go on. Well, not depressing, but I always used to think of Mondays, and on the Sunday night, my mum used to hang up my school uniform on the back of my door, right, ready for the week. Oh, and so, and so, so she used to put my school uniform on, and then. On Sunday night, I'd fall asleep and I could see my school uniform on the door. So I can remember I used to open the door, take it off and throw it out the door like that. <laughs> and it was always That's in a pile brilliant. on the floor outside my door when I got up on Monday morning. Are your pants on the floor? I was going to say. Yeah. <laughs> I know those are my shoes. But yeah, oh. that really reminds me of Mondays, uh, having clean shirt and trousers for the week. Oh, that's great. The blazer well, never... My blazer was always like two sizes too big because my brother was bigger than me and I always had to have his old one. So oh, I always walked yeah. around with it like coming down halfway down to my knees and my body. <laughs> it was a good look though in the 90s. Uh, yeah. But size yeah. blazer is very popular now as well. I do it all the time. I know, I've seen you. And we are done. Thank you both so much for joining and best of luck with the show. Thank you for having us. Thank you so much. Thank you. That was really fun.